jam it. Hello and welcome back to Theoretical Dawn meets Minecraft, a YouTube series where I try and get better at playing Minecraft, funnily enough. Today, me and my friend Alex, who is also on the server, are planning on going mining. Things get interesting, to say the least. Also, apparently I just randomly forget what every single button in the game does as I flick through every opportunity for no reason. So, on my person, I have one pickaxe made of stone, three sticks Ooh. of wood, 13 torches, one piece of beef, three pieces of bread, 16 planks just in case, and a crafting table and a spare gold helmet. Oh. Now I feel like I've come with everything I might possibly need. <laughs> There's one thing you don't have enough of. That is food. We I, need to get you some food. I need food then. <laughs> I gathered <laughs> all my food and this was it. Three loaves of bread and a piece of meat. Let's um let's cull some sheep. Whilst Alex too noisy anyway. got me some more food, <laughs> I watched on as he seemingly carelessly cut down so many animals. I should also remind you at this point I had no animals of my own, simply relying on what appeared naturally as I explored. Alex was certainly further ahead than me in almost so all So we, we could be down there a little while. So, lots of food. Now I think we shouldn't use my mine okay. because you've never dug down to the bottom before, have you? I have not. I did not know there was a bottom. Spoilers. Uh, you've not dug down before, have you? <laughs> uh, well, so you're going to need to pick a spot, and we'll go dig in your spot. With my with your stone method. axe. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I don't have any pickaxes. A rookie mistake, to be sure. There we go, I've got one. That's not going to be enough. Uh, so I'm going to grab some wood. So I can craft some on the go. Are we ready? One crafting table. Ah yes, Alex and his crafting stuff. tables. This goes We're waiting up for later the meat. on. Uh, so true to life as well. <laughs> Killing right. some time whilst we waited for the rest of the meat to cook. Alex was determined to find the source of a zombie noise, which, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure he wasn't just imagining. Satisfied he'd got rid of this imaginary zombie, we set off in the way of my mine, a place I had briefly explored earlier on. So, if we go a little bit here, I think, yes, this is where I was just mining casually before, just getting some uh, coal, so I might as well stay here. Stupid spider. Oh my god, zombies. Death be with you, Mr. Zombie. So this is my very comfortable mine. Hmm. <laughs> Torches might be the other thing that we miss. I have 13 <laughs> on me. I've got 20. Alright, we'll Alex, start by putting this one here. Now I will tell you, let you in on one technique give me any that I have, which is that this was done uh, by him trying to play the axe. idiot. I, if I'm digging a, a tunnel, I always put the torches on the left if I'm going away. You've told me that. So that to find my way back. You can keep them. Yep. You have told me that Boom. before. It's very important we get on the same page now because. So all my torches go on the right and all your torches <laughs> go on the left and we'll be fine. Even. Exactly. All right, we need to go down. How yep. would you like to dig down? I usually point at the ground and dig. Yeah? Um, yeah. Like this? Well, uh, no, I try not to go vertical straight down. I try to try to diagonal it, if possible. Because okay. I have accidentally dug myself into a pit before. <laughs> you know, where the ground just gives away, you're just digging away, and then all of a sudden you drop. Yeah. It 
did not end well when that happened. But you get the gist. We started exploring, we started digging deeper down, and eventually we came across some unfriendly fellow miners. I don't think I'm going to need an axe, so let's swap that out for some cobble. I'm just going to use my trusty weapon here. I've said it before and I will say it again, sticks are possibly the greatest side of Minecraft. I believe in you. I believe in me too, for what it's worth. You know what, even Luke Skywalker, he started off with Why are they still alive? I'm using, using a stick. A stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's my trusty weapon. I can't use my pickaxe, it'll damage too quick. I'm all about resource <laughs> management, you know that. And sticks, sticks are invincible. Sticks don't break, so it's my weapon of choice, because I swear, it might just be my imagination, but I swear it gives you slightly longer reach than just using your fists. <laughs> so that's why I use I actually sticks. don't know. Maybe it's, you know, it might just be me positive thinking and all that, but I swear, oh, coal, yay, we'll be needing that, I know we will. Yeah, I've, I've hit on a coal vein. I'll use up one of my five stone pickaxes to <laughs> gather these. I, like, this is, I don't know if this is new to you, but it's new to me that I'm finding grass on the ground. You know, it it's a little bit new to me. Okay, the Caves and Cliffs update has uh, barely played it. See, I haven't played underground at all since the Caves and Cliffs update, so that could be why. Like, I think it did exist, kind of, but it's definitely going to be a bigger feature. Next up, we discovered some other unfriendly locals which had decided to go for a bath in the local swimming pool, apparently. With Alex stealing my kill, we decided to continue on our way. Now, something tells me continuing How our journey we... underwater yeah, yeah. will not be a good idea. We mind, Alex. Yeah. Because the cave does go deeper, but it is also underwater. And there's another skeleton arch there. I did tell him. Oh, maybe we should just continue our, the line we were on. Just ignore oh, yeah, this cave. Steps. <laughs> I need something to do with this wall. <laughs> <laughs> I will not let blocks go to waste. And why do you have so much wool, Alex? Something tells me that I am not going to be in short supply of wool. <laughs> right, so... there. Now, something I haven't turned on yet is coordinates. Ah! Oh, ow! Oh yeah, by the way, there was another skeleton archer, Alex. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I did tell him. There. I found water, Alex. No, say it ain't so. Uh, it looks like it. I, th I think I struck a, a high vein of water. So if we need to mine water, we got a lot of it. I mean, you get the picture. The whole point of this is a mining trip, so I don't need to show you everything in real time. We dug some blocks, dug some more blocks. Like it. Alex played with some water. Oh no. And found even we more. We sprung another leak. What have I got? I've got cobblestone. And whilst he I started it. his inventory, I just solved the problem. More digging continued. This is, as I said, a mining episode. Yeah, more digging. Lots and lots of digging. Um. Oh, dang it, I gotta build a pickaxe. Have you encountered this thing before? Just a moment, I gotta build a pickaxe. Now you'll notice I placed my crafting table, and unlike Alex, I then retrieve my crafting table. Oh, funny Minecraft noises. Whee! Have I encountered what before, sorry? This the, thing. The, oh, the ready greeny stuff. Yep. That is copper. I do not know what it's used for, but I know it is copper. I'm editing this almost a month later, and I copper still don't know what Copper is new to Caves and Cliffs for. part one. It does have some uses. It's been in existence the whole time I've been playing, so I didn't know it was a new thing. I mean, in Minecraft, I, I know what copper's used for in real life. 
when I first started playing, I just I could not find it anywhere. And everyone's sort of saying, Oh, it's everywhere. It's actually it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's taking all the good resources away. <laughs> I'm just like, I haven't found a single one. Okay, Alex, can I just point out you may have discarded that egg, but you could have had a chance of getting those a cave chicken. <gasps> and then we'd have had like a, like a canary in the mineshaft kind of situation. You're so right. And then the hissing returned. Damn it. Oh, you just killed the cage. Isn't there? Not, no, uh, no chance of chicks this time. And so I cut the rest of the audio. It turns out the application I was using to make a Mac functional and actually let multiple kind of audio things happen at the same time was really scummy and after about half an hour it created a really bad hissing noise in the background but something you only found out afterwards it wasn't something that appeared whilst you were recording this is the reason for my time skip after this video Um, yeah, it turns out we wasted a lot of time, or I particularly wasted a lot of time on different uh, recording sessions until I found out about this. Um, partly because of COVID and other things, there was actually a big delay between us doing a lot of these recording sessions and getting around to editing. And also, I'll be the first to admit, I am an epic procrastinator. So, yeah... This is the last video for a section, although I know Alex's videos continue in the gap. Um, fortunately, we have sorted it out now, and I will jump forward a lot after this video, like I was saying. Um, but I will continue for a bit of this mining episode, but effectively only half of the session made it into the recording. Because how much do you need to see us digging? I am just going to take a moment to shamelessly plug my latest project. Uh, it involves me, my brother, and a friend of my brother, where we have done a podcast called GNS Radio. It's about a small town where a mega corporation with questionable infinite resources and an even more questionable agenda slowly take over the town. GNS Radio took us quite a bit of time to do. Um, the whole first season is recorded and is coming out bi-weekly on Saturdays. And it was so much fun recording, let alone re-listening to it. I thoroughly recommend it. Anyway, back to us playing Minecraft. Two skeletons decided they were no longer friends and wanted to hurt each other. And then we got some slimes for some weird reason. Now I admit I had forgotten about this big cavern and I'm gonna have to go back here because there's a lot of resource a lot of resources I could really do with actually. Uh, I I did go back and get a lot of it, but I should probably do with some more stone. The problem with building a base underwater is a lot of your kind of concentration is based around that area and you do forget that there's stuff other than sand for making glass. This has been episode 3 of Theoretical Dawn Meets Minecraft. I'd love to have shown you the second half of this video but it's just going to be me commenting over it and it's just more mining. We do make it to the bottom of the map. Alex thoroughly embarrasses me by not telling me the very bottom bricks are indestructible, but I did get my own back and really confused him when I blocked in the tunnel on the way back up. Um, if you like what you saw, please rate, review, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you saw, sorry, I suppose. Um, this is, at the end of the day, just a fun little project, and I, I really am having a great time discovering Minecraft from an idiot's point of view. It must be frustrating to watch, I realise. I also thoroughly recommend watching Alex's version of the events on his videos on Aero for XD, which is his channel. Uh, it's all one word. They're a great take on things, and 
I have to admit I haven't watched too many because of spoilers, but they always are really funny, um, especially whenever I see whatever I'm doing in the background and I realise just how much of an idiot I look like. Before I forget, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. I'll see you next time and have a great one.